spam, spam folder. <laughs> no problem. We'll figure it out. How's the cheese? Good, good. So we have five different kinds of cheese tonight. We have Brie, Coffee Jack, Baby Bells, Horseradish, and Processed Cheese Food. Processed cheese. That's what they call it as a package. Processed <laughs> cheese food. I don't want to Google that. It's kind of weird. We've got more baby bells because that seems to be the point. Also, apparently it's a tradition for people to look up Florida Man and then their birthday. What? American pasteurized processed cheese. Food. Oh, it is. It's a good source of calcium. What's American though? That's why, that's why I like American cheese. I like that kind of cheese. It's up there. Isn't that because it's made in America? Probably. No, no, I just like the cheese. Scrimpy I mean, Donald's and Sarah Lyle. It doesn't say where it's made. It's, it's, it's American cheese. If it's American cheese, it's made by America. Where? Spanish cheese. 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 There's no Spanish cheese. Sit down. There's no Spanish cheese? <laughs> There is. I thought there was. Maybe it was European. I think there is. Not with us. They're, they're probably in, but we don't have it. Why? Because we're American, not Spanish. All right. Landon, you're going to say the prayer when we get to that part of the opening uh, worship here today. Wait, that's not good. Page 282 in your hymnal. Where's that? Oh, wait. 200. 82. The hymnal, the big book, has the cross Ooh. on the front. 280 what? 282. Two. It's up there. Oh, I lost again. You lost? Oh, that's okay. How are you lost? Help him. No, no, I said I lost again. Huh? Like I did it. Oh, the flip to the page. Oh. Yes, 282. so response to prayer one. I think we did this one before. When you get to page 283, Use the right hand column for afternoon and evening. You say all the dark, all the stuff in bold, you say. The stuff that's not in bold, I say. So, and when we get to the prayer at the bottom of 283, Landon has the prayer. Wait, this one right here? You have to make up a prayer, an ACTS prayer. Remember? No, thing over there. ACTS Acts, Acts prayer. I'll give you a picture. Acts prayer. Yes. Remember you say something good about God, confession, thanksgiving, and then you pray for something. Oh, I feel awful Yeah, you can do it. But this is your second year, so you're experienced. Yeah, I, I am. You want to know how much stuff I'm using in class because of the quarantine? How much stuff are you using? I have to write two essays. I have multiple work for ELA. I have to finally finish all my science work. What does ELA stand for? All I know is in reading class. <laughs> Oh, English language arts. That's what I was gonna say. I, I don't do it. Do it. And you're taking the class. Yeah, because I have to. I have no choice. <laughs> if I don't take it, I fail. That's right. Okay, you guys ready? Yes. All right. Holy God, holy and most gracious Father, have mercy, have mercy and hear us. Oh. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, and the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord. 
Why don't you pray for your Uncle Bill? Um, I pray for my Uncle Bill. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome. Yeah, he can use our prayers. He's trying to get healthy again, but it's taken a long time. All right, we're done with that. Now, there's no quiz this week, but we're going to do a review of everything we learned from Holy Communion. Isn't that like the fourth? Do we have to turn in the quizzes that we missed? Too? Yes. Oh, okay. So what I have is, we're going to do, it's almost like Jeopardy style, but I'll give you the answer. You have to give me the question. Oh, oh that's harder. Yes, Wait. it is harder. So it's not like... They should make a Jeopardy like that. Fast, you can. They should make the, a Jeopardy version like that, because then it'll be, like, it'll be even harder. So there's, there's 14 questions. You get to pick a number... And that will correspond to one of the questions. And then so we need 50 questions. you can answer it, and if you get it right, you get a point. <laughs> can we just say what is it? If you can't ask the question, no, you have to put it in the form of a question. So we just say what it is, blah, blah, blah. Yes. If you can, then somebody else can get the points. Is he? So they answer it. Is Chandler? What is Kayla and the That's it. What is, but okay. All right. Is it your first? Pick a number. Oh. What do you want? Thirteen. What number? Lucky thirteen. All right. Here's the answer. You have to give me the question. The answer is four. <laughs> what? I don't know math. I don't like math. I know. Wait, we don't. Oh, yeah, there's these questions. What's the question? I know the answer. Um, Okay, who wants it? No. Who gets up first? Oh, um, um, what do you eat and drink at Holy Communion? Okay, how many things do you how eat and drink? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's basically what I said. That was not yes, right. I want it. You know, it's not easy. We're not like the first. Okay, Landis, take a number. Oh. Uh, I want... Oh, question number one. Don't show us. Number uno. Okay. The answer is when God raises us from the dead. Like <laughs> uh, this one. Judgment day. What uh, is judgment day? Well, what did we, when we talked about all the stuff at Holy Communion, what did it have to do with? When God raises us from the dead. Anybody else want it? Wash his sins away. No. Jesus. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know. I forgot this. What is eternal life? Oh, oh that was a good one. Thank you. Okay, Chandler, pick a number. Five. That's my no, lucky number. Five. Okay. My lucky number. So far, Abe is in the lead, and everybody else is in the last place. I'm in the lead for once. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, and I'm definitely going to We have new you. prizes in the prize bucket, so. I can I need a Miss Piggy. This is my body. This is my blood. What is, what is Holy Communion? You took her answer. Be no, more specific. Mine. Be more specific. Ah. Uh, what is bread and wine? No, not really. Lynn. Oh, come on. Give it up for you. No, bro. No, is he? Um, those are words. It's just those are words. words. No, no, no. <laughs> what is the form of a question, please? <laughs> You're choking on the wax and the cheese. <laughs> those are words. Oh, my. Um, words. Uh, <laughs> say, what, did, what did God say? Who? For the, Jesus. What did Jesus say to the Holy Communion? What did Jesus say for Holy Communion? Very good. Okay. Uh, she said my answer. You could have said the answer. Uh uh. Yes, you could have. My hand was raised a little bit. Ava, pick a number. 12. Number 12. All right. These are not hard. These are easy. These are hard. Okay, the answer is forgiveness, life, and salvation. Oh. 
Eva. Number eight. Yes, that's Eva. Don't pick three. I, saw, I forgot to call you Jimmy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Jimmy. It's okay. I thought you were Billy. No, oh, wait, I am Billy. Billy. Passover. To say it. Don't Don't say it. Say it. Tell him. What? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no. I get a chance. What? Okay. Oh my gosh. That's a good start. <laughs> Keep going. What? Um. What? Thank you. What was the?
Landon, I was gonna see that. Oh, is he? Oh, oh, what are the books that have the commandments in it? Oh, you're so close. Oh, These are the four the books that right? have Holy Communion in them. Oh, and when Jesus, Jesus ate the Passover meal with his disciples. Oh, I'm going to say that. I All right, Ava. You get number 14. Yeah, you get the hardest one. Yeah. Actually, this should be the easiest one. That's why you touch it all. It is the true body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, under the bread and wine, instituted by Christ himself, for us Christians to eat and drink. It's, um... It's got to be a question. What do you say before taking... That is not no. correct, Landon. Yeah. Holy Communion. Put it in the question. What is holy communion? Yes, what is holy I'm communion? I'm not last! <laughs> what a insane movie. Remember, that's, that's the first one. I'm first. Body and blood, it's two by Christ himself, for us Christians to eat and drink. I'm kind of oh, sick. Uh, under the bread and wine. Yes, start with. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm All sad. right. I'm first. It was and tight, I'm but. Yeah, I'm first. All right. Land is going to steal the item by the way. Wait. Why is he? You get first choice of the prizes. Yeah. Why is the blue one? Because I picked up the wrong marker. Oh, you got the little fidget thing. No, she just right. wanted one. Second place is Landon, oh, Michaela, oh, and Tyler. I should go. I love fidget cubes. Oh, my God. No, I don't find it. I don't think I get yeah, that. It's a fake snowball. Can I throw that snowball? Yeah. No, he's going to throw it at me. Why, why wouldn't he? You're in last place, Chandler, so you get the last place. Squeeze it one. Ava? You wish you would have picked this. No, I, I don't care. I like no, this one vibrates. Oh, we're number one? Okay. You're in the first What did I say? What's that blinding about? That? First is the worst. The same. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. I didn't say oh, it. Does. It's a rubber snake and a chandler. There's two cars and there's two uh, Avengers. It's a car. He's going with the sports oh, car. Oh, right. I need a vibration. Can you bring another no. Fiji cube there? I don't have. A whole stockpile of physics. <gasps> you do? No, I don't. Oh, he just said. All right. You did not. <laughs> Good. Now you all have something to fidget with. Yeah. <laughs> you put it on your finger and you hold it up in the air. So yeah. Like, well, actually, I'm All right. Now we're on a purple piece of paper that says the purple. The law on there. Because we are starting a whole new unit on the law and the Ten Commandments. So, where, she does start, she's just brainstorm a little bit here. Where do people look for happiness, identity, security, and meaning in life? What do you think? The Bible? Jesus? The church. Okay, there might be some people who look through Jesus and the church. Where do, but that's not the only place where people look. Where else do people find meaning in life? What do you think, Chandler? Um, their dream job, I don't know. Okay, good job. Their career. Yeah, but like, it's your dream job. So this could be your whole career. Yeah. Where else do people look for security and meaning? What are you doing? Okay, children, family. Let's say family. That's great. Where else? <laughs> friends. Okay, good friends. Mine is. When do you feel the safest? Video gaming. In my bed. Sleeping. Video gaming. You feel uh, safe in video games? Okay, people look for meaning in video games, okay? I think I guess some people are gamers. We're maybe in our homes. That's where you've been, right? right? Where else? What else makes people feel happy? Food. Food. Toys. Okay, well let's say possessions. That could be toys or anything else that you own. Okay, let's look at your Bible. Let's look at Luke 12, 13 to 34. I killed the car. I got page number for me. It's a killed the car. Did she just look right? 871? Yeah, because yeah, she cheated. She looked through it. Uh, uh, when you guys were not here, we were practicing the books of the Bible. Yeah. 
and we got really good at it. Yeah. Here's my budget, what page was it again? Which means you're really damn good. Yeah. Now, what page, page, what page, what page, I didn't got it last, <laughs> I got second last. What page? Time, right? What page? Oh. I just said 870. 870. 870. 871. Here's the idea though. You you wear out your figures trying to flip through the pages as fast and not to find it. Well, I'm over here not. I'm just supposed to get a page number. Just not. Yeah. We're just going to read the first part of this line. Everybody got it? I think it doesn't quite have it yet. I'm cleaning my hands of the book. I make a round. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to Page 871 in your Bible. Look at how good it looks. No. Kayla, you got a Bible? Page 871. The law is usually 
bad news, not good news. Uh-oh. The gospel tells you <coughs> what Jesus has done for you. Why say SOS? I'm going to tell you. Because it's an easy way to remember law and gospel. So, the law, S, shows our sin. And the gospel shows our... You guess what it is? Um, savior? Savior, yes! She cheated. What? How did she cheat? Oh, um, magic. I'm just smarter than you. Sure. So, two main messages, law and gospel. The law shows our sin. The gospel shows our Savior. So, Landon, what is sin? How would you define sin? Give me your best guess. Guilt. Guilt? Um, you're real close. Real close. Chandler, what's sin? <laughs> sin? Um, it's bad. Like it's a it's a bad thing and you. That's an adjective. I'm looking for a definition. Oh. Uh, okay.
you. I mean, can you take money out of your mom's purse? No, no, you don't take stuff that doesn't belong to you. you I, have, have, I, I never took money out of my mom's purse. Oh, okay. That's a very qualified answer. Very long <laughs> Just don't do that. Alright. Chandler, Romans 320. Oh, can I read like from, from I would like you to okay. read out loud Romans 320. <laughs> you had it too I had it and I actually hit it. Okay. Um Oh, there it is. For by the works of law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. Through the law comes knowledge of sin. So, the law is like a mirror. It, remember, what was the what was the SOS for, for a law? Save our sins. Shows oh, our sins. Save our sins. <laughs> Right. When you read God's law, it reveals things that either you've been doing wrong or you haven't been doing right. That's just the way it is. So sometimes it acts like a mirror and shows us how much we need a Savior. Did you ever do something and get in trouble for it and you didn't know it was wrong? Like you did it and you got punished and you said, I didn't even know that was wrong. Like what? What happened? Uh, well, Drawing on the wall. Was that yesterday? No, that was when I was a child. So you're a little kid, you drew on the wall, you got in trouble, you had no idea why. Because <laughs> mom and dad had never said, don't draw on the wall. I'm back. Okay. Yeah, you, you, there's a lot of things you don't know until somebody tells you the rule. What were you going to say, Izzy? What? So, I mean, when you got in trouble for doing something that you didn't know was wrong. I stole my friend's money. I do not know how it was wrong. There was a story. Tell me. Okay. okay. I'll, it, it was a sleepover. I was at her house. Like, okay. I, I didn't know it was her money. So, like, when I was little, I just found money and I took it. It was hers. Okay. And then I got in real bad trouble. I mean, that's something <laughs> little kids <laughs> have to learn. Just I mean, fun. when you go to preschool, most of it is learning how to sit still, color in the lines, you know. How can they don't your hands to yourself? You know, no fighting, no fighting. So, okay. Choose your sins. All right. Psalm 119, what a five. Uh, your word is a light to my feet and a light to my path. Okay. So we're going to call that a map. Is there not, is, wasn't that like said in a song something? Yes. <laughs> so sometimes the law shows us how to live as God's people. It's a light for our path and a light for our feet or something like that. So, it keeps people in line, it shows you your sins, and it shows you how to live as God's people. So, those are the purposes, the three purposes of God's law. So, I have pictures of these. I have them right here. No, that's my SOS pictures. I have some pictures. Anyway, I have pictures to help you remember. So, that was this curve, mirror, map. Curve, mirror, map. So it's a curve and a mirror and a map. Yep. If I ask the three purposes of God's law, you say curve, mirror, map. We don't get all this all we have to say. If I say, Landon, who's your savior? Jesus. Why is he wrong? I'll say you're wrong. He was drinking. He uh, had like a whole mouthful of water. Oh. Alright, any questions on this so far? No. Do you need I, some cheese? I think you do. I need some ribs. You need some cold. You need some what? Ritz. Crackers. Oh. Wait, we got some rips there, we got a whole box on it. I forgot all about that wall that you told us to use. <laughs> Body much. How many do you, it's right there. See, I, I, don't, I forgot. I, I try forgot. to make it easy for you. I forgot. I'm so sorry. What does white bar mean again? That's a, that's, oh. What does wash away our sins? Yeah, can you wash away our sins? Yeah, what are the three benefits of Holy Communion lately? Cleans our sins. Forgiveness? It flies. Forgiveness, life, life and salvation. 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 Forgiveness, life, and salvation. All right. All right. Now, Landon, Matthew 22, 37 and 39. Eight or six. We're depending on you to get this. Yeah, we're depending on me. Yes. I can't. Okay. Eight or seven. Matthew what? It's Matthew 22, Ooh. verses 37 and 39. This was how Jesus 
summed up all of God's laws. Mm. Matthew 14, 37, 39. It's so, all does Landon own glasses, or does he just not own He own glasses. Okay. Um, so, it's, it's, uh, it's God's law, it's just the Ten Commandments. Yes. But Jesus put it a different way. So, read those verses for me, Landon. 37? Please. Um, and he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with your mind. Okay? And read 39. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Okay. So, this is, the story was, somebody came up to Jesus and said, what's the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, the greatest commandment is, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the second is pretty close behind it, love others. So he summed up all of God's law in those two ways. Love God and love others. But I thought there were ten commandments. There are. There are. That's so, two. Where's the other eight? Somewhere else. I just read they all fit though. How? Because technically, um, you're not supposed to love any other god, so like the one only true god. And another one is like no murder or something like that. And so that's basically still love not love you know, others. You are absolutely right. The first three oh, commandments wow. are about loving God. And then the other commandments are about loving each other. I know this because um, we, uh, we used to, we, when we go to Illinois, there's this giant cross over there that has like, all the commandments. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the first commandment is, you shall know the gods before me. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's all about our relationship with God. Four is honor your mother and father, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not uh, give false testimony, and nine and ten, you shall not covet. So that's all about your relationship with other people. So that's how Jesus summed up the law. So if I ever say, give me a great summary of the law, you say, love God, love other people. Piece of cake, right? Give me a good summary of the law, Ava. Love God and love there you go. Nice. All right. Any questions about that? Now, how carefully do you have to keep the commandments? Very close. Like, what's a, what's a perfect, what's a passing grade with God? This is number six. All right. So, who didn't look up a verse yet? Everybody had one, didn't they? Izzy, you did Leviticus 19. Two and then Chandler. Yeah. James two ten. It's the third book in the Bible. See the chart up there? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus. Where's James? Oh, James is way in the New Testament. Way over here. Right. It's like one, two, three, five, six. Like eight so books before the end of the Bible. Okay. Yours is in the Old Testament. Leviticus. Did you say my name? Yes. I thought you said it was for me. Oh, was it for you? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Wait, me? No. Uh, <laughs> Izzy probably has it. Yeah, I got oh, it. Did yeah, you find it, Chandler? Oh, wait, I'm going to pass it again. I have a question. Yes. What is I passed it again. The New Testament. Wait. Where's John? What is in between? I want to John. Where's John? Oh, oh wait, over there. Sorry, Old Testament back. is everything that happens oh, before Jesus here. came. The New I know Testament James. Is everything that happens when Jesus comes and does My everything that he does. Uh, Y'all are be so happy. I found James. So Old Testament before Jesus, New Testament with Jesus. Who's head? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Izzy, read your verse. Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel and say to them, "You shall." Okay. Be holy. What does holy mean? Yeah. Praise God. Is what? Praise God. I can't understand what you said. Praise, Praise God. Praise God? Not exactly. Be holy is an adjective. What is holy? Just be happy, thankful. Be Praise. Be okay, yeah. yeah. Pure. 
Perfect. Good. So God is holy because he is good. There's nothing bad about God. He wants us to be holy too. So he wants us to keep his law completely. Everything. Everything that he says. Okay. Chandler, James 2.10. With a mouthful of crackers. Here we go. Oh, I've got to bring the marshmallows. Next time. <laughs> oh, man. What was that? All right. <laughs> or whoever gave the whole... Whole law, but fails in one point, has become guilty of all of it. Ooh. So if you keep all the law and you make one mistake, you're guilty of all of it. That's basically like saying the only passing grade with God is 100%. <coughs> 100%. You gotta be 100%. 100%. You have to do everything that God says and not do what God says not to do all the time, your whole life, completely. Is there anybody who does that? No. No one. No, it's impossible. No one is that perfect. Only Jesus is that perfect. Jesus did it. That's why Jesus came. Jesus did it for you. He was perfectly obedient for you. And then he died with all of your sins, and now you're forgiven, and you can have life with God. Because what happens when a holy God... Does that mean no one was going to heaven the whole time? No, a holy God... And sinful people, what happens if those two things get together? I don't know, but I do have a quick question, though. Okay, quick question. Does that mean no one was going to heaven the whole time? Who? Does that mean no one was going to heaven the whole time until Jesus came? Correct. Nobody could possibly go to heaven if it weren't for Jesus. So basically, everyone before Jesus that died did not go to heaven. No, because Jesus died for everybody's sin. Oh, so then they got back then. The people before Jesus were looking forward to him coming. The people who lived after Jesus, like us, we look back at what Jesus did. Uh-huh. So they all believed in Jesus for forgiveness. Uh-huh. Anybody, you have a question? Um, are you going to be turning in these papers? No. Okay. Only your homework pages, which is underneath yeah, well, it. it. Um, you might want to dry it out a little bit. So what happens when a holy God and sinful people get together? Let's ask this, okay? What happens when uh, a can of gasoline and a match get together? Oh, um, that's not good. That, that's not good. That's not good. Explosions. Wait, unless the match isn't like that. A lit match. Yeah. <laughs> lit match. Yeah, then it just sit there. Gee, now it's close. So if you have a large liquid fuel rocket, what do they use to ignite the fuel? Gas. They use two types of um, liquid fuels. But so what starts the, the, the engine going? How, what's the initial thing? Is it a spark? I forgot what Electrical? It, is. it depends on what rocket you're doing. You need to find out. If you're doing it with um, like a SLB, solid fuel, it, it's solid fuel, it is a you spark. Like fuel. Yeah, yeah the solid fuel is a spark, a liquid fuel, I forgot what it was. Okay, you gotta find that out. Anyway, you can't do it. But God wanted to be with his people, so he sent Jesus to die for our sins, and then God and us, we could have a good relationship. But, you know, be holy. As soon as you say be holy, well, I'm not holy. Once again, because what does the law do, Ava? SOS, what does the law do? Save our sins. Save. <laughs> shows our sins. Show, shows our sins. But Michaela, what does the gospel do? SOS. Shows our Savior. Yes, shows our Savior. Great. Okay. So, God wants us to keep all of his commandments. Can I wash my hands? Yes, you may. Um, where's the nearest thing? Right below that room. Right. Right. The bathroom? Isn't that, yes, it, yes, 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 yes. There's a bathroom in here? Yeah. Oh, there's a bathroom? Yo! So there, see? But, but be careful, there's no lock on that door. <laughs> so, it's always a risky proposition. You have oh, to hurry and nobody walks in on you. I'm yeah, just I remember that. Is that <laughs> you find some soap and everything? Yo, it's baseball. Go ahead, Rene. Dinner up, please, right? 
You didn't see anything. What happened? What? I thought this is a trick question. Huh? If I should have seen I'm so confused. What happened? Are you blind? Yeah, are you blind? Are you blind? The I'm reason, blind. But most of the time, I thought you were blind, but you're always squinting, but that's not always true. Wait, wait, is this a question? Is this a trick question of what I should do? What did no. you just do? Oh, so you no right here. What happened? You should know what you just did. So, just just some of the reasons that God gives us the commandments <laughs> is because he doesn't want bad things to happen to us. There's consequences if you hurt people, if you take people's stuff. I mean, there's consequences. So what happened? I'm so confused right now. Don't, 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 don't be confused. Let's talk confused. about the I personal know. thing. <laughs> you guys got any questions? Well, what, what, what do you take? Izzy, what's the first commandment? Okay, what do you think? Um, this was the memory work for today. Oh, wait. Hold on. I know this. Taylor, what's the first commandment? Oh. Um. Uh, it was today's memory work. I, I just. Oh, that's right. They lost it. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> what's the first commandment? Michaela? <laughs> oh, God. Um. <laughs> what the hell? Izzy, first um, commandment. You shall have no other gods. I'll eat. <laughs> What yeah. happened? Shall have no. Wait, I can answer that one, Mr. Oh my <laughs> Mr. I can have a piece happens. of cheese in my water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting right there with dead kids. I don't know how we got there, so I was kind of concerned. <laughs> if you said this one, now he would be overjoyed. Oh, yeah. I think it's cheese. It's just water. It looks like little, no, like, it's cheese. cheese.
What else? Yourself? Okay. <laughs> I'm in for it. Like, can I ask you? Yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. Gabby Lynn? Dad Carlos? Um, yes. Yeah. What's important to you? Doggy. Okay, pets. <laughs> family. Family, okay. Food. Yeah, food. Yeah, food. Yeah, Friends. Yep. Yeah. And God. Okay. You had a God at the very end. Like, everybody puts God there because they think they need to. Yeah. <laughs> no, he put God. He put no, God in the name. Guilt shame. Oh, need to add to our list. No, no. no they put God in the name. I know. Hey, time out, guys. Ava, hey, add to our list. Give um, us a couple more. Okay, things. Things. Yeah. Yes. Anything. Things. things. What else? Um, Ava's honest. She likes her stuff. <laughs> I love my phones. Phones, okay. Everything else I wrote is already up there. It's already up on download Wednesday. No, I'm not going to say Monday. Yeah. How do you know of the gods? That's kind of hard to understand until you start thinking about what is important to you. So what is huh? an idol? What's an idol? Uh, someone you someone you would like kidnap and hold hostage. What? <laughs> that would not be a correct Someone you <laughs> <not. laughs> Someone like you worship. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I don't think no. Like it's something you look up to. Yeah, God. that. Not worship. worship. God. People worship or idols. Wait, you asked what is an idol? I yes. thought you said give an example. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're going to do that. Your example Sorry. was a kidnap. That was like, oh, I sounded like nothing. I your, your example was to kidnap someone to hold them off. Idol is anything. Actually, let's, let's do it this way. What was the. You said you have no other God. What does this mean? What was the category? You can't have any other idols. Let's look it up in the. Wait, so you want to look it in the book. Idol. Go to, get in your catechism, and go to page 58. Page 58. Oh. You got the thing back there? No, I don't think they're okay. It's this weird sound, let me throw it. It's not funny, I snorted, and it worked on my nose. It's okay, snorting happens when you're laughing. Yeah, a lot of little bit of nose. What did I say, Oreo? Oh, that would be better. Yeah, Oreos coming at your nose. <laughs> I could have snorted by accident. Okay. okay. Me and Oreo. Michaela, we were at the Chinese restaurant. The one like in the clothes. We were we were laughing and she ate watermelon and it came out her nose. Oh. What, what <laughs> my, no, no, no. One of my one of my friends one of my friends snorted um uh, uh, what do you call it Smarties. Then, oh, like, they, like they crushed them up and then they did that. And then like, they were snorting. No no what they were doing was they were like they were gonna pretend to do it like. But then they actually did it on accident. My friend Shorts got Cheeto dust and their nose was burning for the next 10 minutes. Why did they do that? Cheeto dust. Hot yeah. Cheetos are really spicy though. So oh, I don't know. Hot Cheetos. But they just it up. You but did you ever put one up your nose? No, but I'm going to try it. Smart boy. I'm going to try it. Wait, can you... Oh, I'm going to bring head one. Oh, Listen, I don't like that with well, Hot Cheeto night. We don't have Hot Cheetos next week. Oh, hot Cheetos next week. All right, do you like Hot Michaela, what does this mean? Wow. We should. Bye. What? Bye. No, what does this mean? We should. Fear love. Fear love. On the page, see, it says, you shall have no other God. What does this mean? We should fear love and trust in God above all things. That was your memory work today, remember? Me. We have no memory work. It's, it's on the homework page. Oh. Every 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 single week, the homework page has memory work. Oh well, I haven't looked at it yet. So. Oh, well, well, this was the homework that was due today. Oh. Did you do today's homework? Um. I think. I Let me look at the homework bucket to see what we got. <laughs> uh, me land definitely not in there. All I see is. Michaela and Izzy. I don't see yours in here, Ava. Yeah, what? Where's me and Landon? But I'm pretty sure I started. Then you would have started with the memory work, because that was the first thing. 
<laughs> well, not even, I, I know, it's a little bit too logical for you. I think the hardest one. That's usually the hardest one. Nope. We should fear love a car. and no, trust no, in God, God above all things. Where's the clock? Your side, I don't know what this is. We got 25 minutes to go. 25 minutes, anybody. So, anything that you fear, love, or trust, more than God is an idol. Wait, I forgot what that means. Someone you look up, someone you look up to. Someone you look up to, or something that you worship, or something that you trust. So, if we know that, what do people fear, love, or trust more than God? That would be idols. Let's get, make a list of idols. Elon Musk. Okay, we'll put Elon Musk on there. You don't, you don't like Elon Musk on there. You think people idolize George Washington? Yeah. I mean, if you're silly really patriotic, I don't yeah. idolize that man. America. America. What else do people worship besides the one true God? Is he? Themselves. Yourself. Oh, that. that's a good one. That's right. Family. George Washington machine. Me. Lamar oh. Jackson. <laughs> Joe okay. Biden. You know, athletes, celebrities. People try to, they want to be just like them. They, they almost worship them. I'm just going to say, celebrities. What else you got? Hmm? Okay, the president. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of lump those into celebrities and public personalities. Pets. Ronald Reagan. I'm not idolizing my pets. Do people really worship their pets? No yes. one worships your People pets. worship their pets. I don't pets. worship Lamar. Wait, what? I'll put it there. On the radio, no, on the radio, no, I heard I heard someone say um, that 30% of people are idolizing their pets. Egyptians worship cats. That's true. She's not wrong. Wow. <laughs> I know I'm not wrong. For Some people worship other families. Okay. People worship their families. Actually, in Japan, yeah. they worship their deceased ancestors. Don't they do Ooh, that in, um, what, what do they call it? I watched the film though, I should know this. Oh, that's, um, Hey, yeah, they yeah. are the dead. That's yeah, don't they worship their ancestors or something? No, they, they uh, give them their ancestors. Oh! But in Japan, they actually sacrifice, they have little shrines to their ancestors. Mulan! Wait, they do sacrifice? Yes. Mulan? I watched that movie. Mulan? What other eyes do people have? Do you think some people have oh, like a Kids! Like they're they're the child. They're they're that you, know, you worship your child. No, yeah, some people worship their, their kids. Oh, they all have them over the life. So that's what about money? money? Do you think people worship money? Yes, I yes. Do. I'm gonna be so cute when I don't trust money. Mr. Krabs is a great money. example of money. Well, some people their, their idol is I'm success. Oh yeah, fair yeah. They they're want more than anything to be successful or. Fame. That's the most important thing to them. That's why I asked you what the most important things to you are, because your idols are anything that you fear, love, or trust more than God. Wow. Oh. Well, then I didn't go fear, love, or trust more than God. We don't remind me of us, more God. In the Old Testament, in the Bible, people actually worship little statues that were representations of their gods. So they have a statue up there and they I would not do that. I would like knock it over. That's what they did in India. It's all over India. And China. Well, yeah, India <coughs> is mostly um, Hindu and Islamic. Asia, I think it's like Asia I had a lot of religions and Shadow. Yep. It's the birthplace of religions. In, in a way it is. Wow. Yeah, so there's lots of different idols. Christianity came from there, Buddhism came from there, Hinduism came from there. So, oh, sure. A, B, and C. Head Yeah, man, it's not bullying. Yeah. Oh, you're sinning. Yeah. How the fuck is bullying? <laughs> because you're being a bully. You said head guard. I love All right. We fear love and trust God above all things. What does it mean to fear God? Uh, um, are you, Landon, are you afraid of God? No. Why not? Because he's nice. But you should fear him. He's all-powerful. Well, I trust him. 
Okay, but you're not fearful of him at all? You're not even well, fearful of him. Yeah. You think if, if God walked in the room right now, <laughs> would you feel a little nervous? Yes. Uh, a little intimidated, Outdoor. maybe? Yes. Yeah. What did you say? Right out the back door? Yeah. Okay. That would be fear. Well, I'll do it right from I feel like... Well, of course Let me ask you this. Are you afraid of your dad? No. Yeah. Do you have any fear of your dad at all? No, I'm going to try. Okay. What's your dad do when you get in trouble? I don't care. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I don't quite lot. believe you. <sighs> <laughs> Everybody gets in trouble. Why would you fear one of your parents? Because they'll yell Because you they'll ground you. Ground they can punish you. Take all your stuff away from well, you. Well, take your door even, 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 <laughs> even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Door. Door. That's weird. Even worse. The lecture. They'll sit oh, there and yeah, they'll talk to you. Yeah, they'll talk to you for like three hours and also, it's so annoying. Why is there a wall? They'll, they'll make you sit in the kitchen all alone. You can't eat anything. You can't talk to anyone. You can't even look at your cats. You can't even ask what time it is. Are you okay? I'm going through this. <laughs> We're just talking about no. fear of God and parents. Well, I'm poor to be scared of uh, ghost walks there. And like, Do you fear the police? One thing Jesus said was, 
if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So we show our love for God when we do what he says. Okay? What do you think it means to trust God? What does it mean to trust somebody? You you put like like if you like um in a bad time or like need help but you don't know who to go to, you can go to Okay, so what do you go to when you need help? You have like faith in them. Faith in them? I used to do I used to do a trust fall in confirmation class. No, because one year we actually dropped somebody. Oh, please, please. So I'll we don't do that. I don't know. Why are you saying I'm so sorry? I'm never going to drop anyone. I would have laughed so much. Yes, Paul. That's what they said back then. No, I too. swear. I never dropped anyone on purpose. I'm in it. I'm in it. This wasn't on purpose either. No. Trust is when you, you put your faith on them. Uh, depend on somebody. He got down the wall. You, uh, you know, you believe them. Who's somebody that you absolutely do not trust? Oh, the you devil. Know. What about like somebody that friend. you know that you don't trust? She lied to me so many times. All your friends, Jeff Bezos. Okay, you don't trust Jeff Bezos. Who do you not trust? A murderer. Um, a serial killer. No, like my ex best friend. She lied to me. So She's a murderer? That's a no, thing. but you don't trust murderers. The Bible, though. So, somebody who lies to you, you don't trust them? Wait. Yeah, like if they say, oh, I'll never do that again, but then they lie about it, it gets on my nerves. So, after a while, you don't trust them. Like, okay. There's no such thing as a best friend. Can you trust God? I don't know. Yes, yes, you can trust God. God is faithful. God always does what He says. His promises are always good. You can trust God. Hey guys, it's kind of cool. We can have a relationship with God. We can talk to Him. We can listen to Him. We can trust Him. That's what it means to love Him. Some gods. I mean, can you have a, rel a relationship with a statue that you carve out? Yes. You know, people were marrying trees. What? People were marrying trees. Where did this happen? Um, like, so, so they couldn't get like tr they couldn't knock on trees. They were married. people were married. That's the news. I had a friend that married a pole at my school. A pole? Just like a pole outside. Vegas can't eat anything anymore because plants don't eat It's not much of a relationship. And then they see, on that pole with another God pole. listens to us. He talks to us. He provides for us. He protects he us. He, every time he, moves. he uh, leads us. He answers our prayers. We can have a relationship with God. Chandler. Technically, vegans can't eat anything anymore because when your research shows, plants know when they're being eaten. So technically, what are vegans going to eat? Well, okay, so this has to do with the first commandment, how? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, she's not going to start talking about regarding trees. When we talk about the Apostles' Creed and we talk about creation, then we'll talk about vegans. <laughs> and vegetarians and pescatarians and omnivores well, and carnivores. What's that? Pescatarians. What? Like what's pescatarians? Pescatarian. Is somebody who's a vegetarian, but he also eats fish. But I heard if you eat too much fish, fish, fish like you can get like an illness. Look at my fort. <coughs> Some fish like, has a lot of mercury in it, and if you eat too much of it, you'll get sick from the mercury. Oh, that's what it was. Yes, that's the substance. All right. So, first commandment: you should have no other gods. We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. What ways do you break the first commandment? If you have other gods, if you have idols, like if you believe in a different god instead of... What ways do you oh, break me. the first commands? The five I have gods. idols. You have idols? Yeah. What's your idols? They're you mostly people who make mostly. rockets. Well, that's one. There's okay. another guy who makes rockets, small rockets. Um, you don't worship these guys, though, do you? No, I, I just like... They're, they're like my idols, though. Like, I look up to them. So okay, well, is it bad to look up to somebody? No. That's what you're saying. No, that's because you're saying they're bad and they're teaching you bad things. It's one uh, thing to look up to somebody. It's another thing to, you know, make that your only focus. Oh. Okay. I thought, yeah. I thought it was like idols in general. Like, if you have an idol, and you're like, it's a bad thing. Well, idol, you can have an idol in a good way. Oh. Um, like, if your idol is like a favorite 
actor or a uh, musician or something like that, and you want to be like them, that's not necessarily bad unless it becomes all-consuming. That's like that's, that's all you want, and that's the only thing that makes you happy. Usually, the biggest challenge to God is me. I am the biggest idol in my heart, and so are you. Because I want to do what I want to do. I want what's best for me. That's good. I want everybody to bow down and do what I want. I want people to worship me. So it's like, you can be an idol, unless you say, wait a minute. God is the one for God. He's the one I worship. Okay? True. I, I thought differently. <laughs> no, no, that's a good, that's a good question. Because you should have good examples and people you look up to. Okay. I mean, there's probably a lot of people who became good athletes because they were inspired by another athlete. Well, just drop something. But, uh, I don't want to spot for me. It's a tough one. Thank you. Good Your job, Brandon. Any questions? No. All right. Guess what, Chandler? I have to do the ending. You got a closing prayer. Can you prayer no, page? I got one in here awesome. somewhere. I need all that. this. Please pray. Design a prayer. Pray for. Um, pray for who? Miss Ruth. She's having surgery tomorrow. Oh, well, that's a definite prayer for that. Yeah. Uh, she has a like on her first stomach. Yeah. Is it? Can you pray for my friend? She has a concussion. What's her name? Ooh. Carly. With a K or a C? With a C. My brother got How did she get a concussion? My friend pushed her into the wall at school. Ow! You Why? got violent friends. I know. Your friends see, don't seem like friends. They seem like five people. But it's not true. Does she have to go to the hospital? Yeah, she went to the hospital. Is she on that? I don't know. Concussion's bad. Yeah, that can. Um, our, our brother got a concussion before playing football. He wasn't thinking straight, so we had to take him to the hospital. Yeah, because your brain can swell and you could really be messed up. He kept saying that he wanted to go back in the football field. Our parents kept saying, no, no, you're going to the hospital. You got good parents. And then, our, and then the players had to rip off his helmet for him because he kind of go back out there. <laughs> All, right. All right. Are you ready, Tamla? Yes. Okay, we are saying our closing prayer. Here we go. Dear God, you are awesome. I'm sorry for not being able to get all my church work done because of this stuff. Thank you for getting our family out of the COVID crisis and stuff. Um, please pray for Carly with her concussion and Miss, and, and, and miss Ruth's surgery. In Jesus' name, amen. Nice job. All right, good job, everybody. I'm still. I am highly still. There is, now, there's no class why? Because I'm going out of town. Wait, that gives us more time. Wait, that gives me and Landon more time to work on our, our work. So that's good. Yes, I am that day. This is important. Next class. What day? See, today is the 6th, 13th, or the 27th. Exactly? Yeah. Wait, today's the 6th? Where are you going? Oh, this, this I'm is going school. to Texas to visit my son. Oh, wait. He'll be next Wednesday, and oh. he won't be back till the following Wednesday. Wait, next so, Wednesday. So there's no class on the 13th or the 20th. That's the hilarious. homework page in your purple papers. Uh -huh. There's two sides. So two. There is Wait, will you be in Texas by the 12th? Why no. are there two sides? Oh. You're leaving on the 13th. Well, I want to see if you can see this lodge is on the 12th. Uh, so <laughs> the, first, the first side of your homework is the second commandment. <laughs> the second side is the third commandment. Oh, I have a question. <laughs> yes. So just one week you're gone. Two. 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 I have a lot of time. I will complete it. No class on October 13th to October 20th. You always say you'll complete tomorrow. I gotta do all the phones. So you haven't turned any in yet? No. This would be a good time to catch up. Yeah. Who's hitting me with a snowball? And I also have not done any of your reports. Yeah. Hey, yeah, guys, you gotta do some sermon reports. I did. Sermon reports? I did mine. You gotta do 12 of them this How year. How many did I do so far? Oh, yeah, but I did one for one. I did one for one. I did 11. No, it's 12. Oh, no, I'm So basically, I did 12, like 11 more than a bit. Yeah. No, oh, I'm gonna do that. So make sure you do them in. Where are the server report things at? Like, I don't need to do it. 
You get confirmed. Let those go water. Uh, is there Let those go water. Dude, it's a ceremony in church. Oh, I'm going to throw in up. In church, yeah. during the church service. So, like, while I'm there. Don't you remember last year? Sharp, go back. No. Like okay. We do it every year. I'm going to ask you Who's that one brother? Last year's confirmation class was. It during the first? I heard guy who it was, but we were in it for like a little bit. Did he, uh, what's her name? Alex get confirmed last year? Alex, Mackenzie. <gasps> Bailey. She was so funny. What happened? No, Michaela got confirmed oh, here before. Yeah. Me, she was so funny. Was it during the first thing? No, it was during the second. I was there at the garage thing. You were there. I was there. You were in church. Yeah. 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 I think I was going to go anywhere. Stop saying that. What did you do? You, what did you, do? you wear white robes, red carnation. Oh, that's what I There's a little ceremony you do. They give you a certificate. With a special Bible verse for you on it. I like the Tampa one. And. The only ceremony. Yeah, we're going to attack Bob Lutz because he likes to do it. I mean, he did the snow last year. Was... Good, good, I don't right? know, but I remember they were going to have to do that. Do we have to do that? You're going to have to have to do Yes. You said Ball. something and then you repeated it? Yes. I asked questions and then they answered. He has been bald. 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 He